Yo, what is up, Lowe's Let's family alike? This your boy Big Blue, aka Black and Red Ted. I'm back finally <laughs> with my video. And so today and tomorrow, I'm gonna hit you guys with a double header because I'm a week behind. <clears throat> so um today we're gonna focus on um last week's week's topic, which which was uh juggalo eras and what's your I guess favorite juggalo era and stuff like that. Uh first off, shouts out to <coughs> the homie CPN and them, uh, CPN and everybody else that was involved in the conversation, pretty much just breaking down the different eras of uh, uh, it was CPN Beastmaster. Uh, think think maybe somebody else. I can't remember for sure. I need to go back and watch the video, but pretty much just going through breaking down the different eras of uh, the Juggalo world and stuff like that. I I look at stuff a little bit differently, and I'm gonna explain why. So. <clears throat> Me personally, <laughs> my favorite era of um my favorite era for me was when the great Malenko dropped. <laughs> Malenko, that um like of course every Joker Joker's car, like real quick, Jay would call it it's the era of that card and stuff like that. But for me, I look at things differently. I, I don't just go by the car. I'm going by the significance of how things change. So, I feel like between, you know, like, dog beats, but let's just stick with Carnival Carnage. From Carnival Carnage to Great Malenko. That is, to me, I would consider it the first era of uh, everything Juggalo. It pretty much started off. You hear that bus in the background? Sorry, <laughs> I live on a bus, uh, bus uh, line. But anyway, from Carnival to Malenko, I feel like that's like for me anyway. That's the first era. That is, it started off with seventeen co copies of Carnival cartridge being sold, and it slowly started growing and growing and growing and growing and growing through them going heading down to Texas. <clears throat> promoting riddle box down there and starting to spread nation uh nationwide were they uh did they hit, hit up any other spots throughout the nation besides texas and stuff could have probably i don't know i'm not gonna do all that research i'm gonna leave that to the homie cpn <laughs> but malenko i feel like it brought in including myself a lot more new People and juggalos because of what happened with the whole Hollywood record situation. So from Carnival to Malenko, to me, that's the 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 first era. The everything was word of mouth from another person. Not saying you you didn't maybe hear an ICP song on the radio or you didn't see them pop up in the magazine or something. They probably did. I don't know, but I feel like that's the the OG word of mouth, my homie put me down with this type of era. Then Malenko hit, and the whole situation with Hollywood, they pulled the record, uh, they they had some uh, interviews pop up on MTV. That interview alone had a lot of eyes on it. I know people, like when I, like, when I was in high school, like I said, a lot of people bought Malenko. People that what they, they don't still to this day didn't call themselves juggalos they just bought it to see what the hype was about and they actually liked the album they fell off afterwards but they did like the malenko album i feel like the controversy with malenko and all the new eyes it brought in that's the second era that's more of the i don't want to call it social media because it wasn't social media but that's more of the um the this i want to say the second coming but the the uh, awakening, I guess you can say, to where uh, the awakening era is what I call it. I guess, uh, yeah, I call it that. Is now this cult world, this um, this word of mouth, hand by hand, like passing CDs and tapes between one another. Now there's little bits of it on MTV. Now a little more than more than so. Now there's little bits of um them in magazines and uh there's this issue going on with island and people want to see what the big deal is and i feel like between malenko <clears throat> and 
Lotus, <laughs> that was more so the well, I would say the discovery, like the the awakening slash discovery, uh, because it's different for other people, but for me, I feel like it's the great awakening because a lot, like just a lot of people woke up to there's other shit out here, or I want to see what this other thing is about. Like, why is it getting so much press and so much time? And I feel like that's the second era for me. And then we get to Lotus. <laughs> and Lotus, Lotus ushered in the family era. And the very last song on Lotus, Juggle Old Family. And it solidified a lot of things, some good, some bad. But that was the, for me anyway, the third era that Juggalo family, whoop, whoop, everywhere you went, <clears throat> if you were anything psychopathic related, ICP, Twisted, Blaze, Anybody Killer, you got whoop, whoops, what up, Ninja, what up, fam? That's what you got. As soon as that record came out, that is what you got. I'm not saying everybody did it, but I know up here where I'm at, walking through the mall with an icp shirt or a twisted shirt whoop whoop what up fam i heard that before lotus came out i didn't hear that we like i don't even remember hearing too many whoop whoops i remember us dapping it up and keeping it moving and then lotus dropped and all the shit switched and um Nothing like I didn't mind it at first because I was just like, oh shit, like this is what the fucking scene is now. Like this is what it's becoming, you know what I'm saying? And um, <laughs> or I don't want to call it scene, but you know what I'm saying? Like this is this is what it's all leading towards. And people really, really brought into this whole juggalo family aspect. And I feel like some people took it too far, and it's just like. They just want to be the Juggalo family scrub, whatever. We've I've talked about this before. I don't need to get into all that. But anyway, <clears throat> that's the third era for me. The the Juggalo family era, the family era. <laughs> and then now, from Lotus, uh, from that Lotus album, and it was a longer stretch, <laughs> all the way up until what three or four years ago when Twisted left. I felt like the family era. When Twisted left, the family era was done. It wasn't it wasn't officially done. It officially ended, I want to say this past December. But from the time Twisted left until this past December, that was the family era slowly walking his way out the fucking door. <laughs> and people starting to see that maybe this shit ain't all about this family juggalo stuff, uh juggalo love that we claim. Maybe it's something more to it and now we're in to me the fourth era we're in the drama po like the post <clears throat> post family slash drama era era where everybody and everything is looked at so close and so finely and everybody wants to pick out every little flaw from either side and it's just drama if you say you like an album, you're dick riding. If you say you don't like an album, you're just a, you're uh <clears throat> let, me, let me correct myself. If you say you don't like an album on one side, you're a either a dick rider for the other side that don't like this side, or, or <clears throat> you're a hater because you don't like that album. And it go both ways. If I sit here and say, I like Young Wicked, I'm going to get, uh, maybe not on Juggalo a day on this channel, but on my personal channel, I'm going to get a couple people that's going to come through and either call me, I'm a dick rider for M&E, or I'm just a hater, <laughs> and I'm a psychopathic nut rider. So, uh, or you know, just just with crazy weirdo shit is how I look at it. Just crazy weirdo shit. And I guess that's the one thing that I truly miss about all the past eras, especially... um especially because like i said for me it's a little bit different like um i would watch people videos and stuff but i i never was fully like in the juggalo community on youtube i did make videos until maybe like a year or so ago about all this but um it was this whole online community going on but i just never you know what i'm saying like, i don't know i i guess i just felt like who would be online talking about this shit <laughs> that's like kind of how i felt about it and um anyway <clears throat> 
Um, I just feel like now people for for this to be a like for, for so many people for so long to sit here and say that it's a family and it's that and other that as soon as some stuff pop off that you don't like you just want to come online bitching and complaining moaning and groaning and just feeding into the drama it's one thing if you direct it at the artist i feel like i feel like um me personally, I feel like if J, if ICP, psychopathic, anybody do something I don't like, I'm gonna talk about it. Fuck it. If Twisted, M and E, all of them over there do some shit I don't like, I'm gonna fucking talk about it. I'm gonna call them out on it. You know what I'm saying? But some people, <clears throat> there's people in this community <clears throat> that on both sides feels like psychopathic don't do no wrong. Fuck M and E, or M and E don't do no wrong. Fuck psychopathic. There's all like there's a lot of people out here now feeding into that shit, but they want to turn around and say something. It's supposed to be a family though. <laughs> you can have disagreements. You know what I'm saying? Like you can have disagreements and um, you can have disagreements with one another. But why do y'all gotta beef with each other? That's my whole thing. I ain't beefing with nobody over this shit, dog. Because at the end of the day, it's it's serious, but it's not that fucking serious. I, I like if that's your opinion, bro. Have your opinion. Like like when the whole when the whole Gmo uh Gmo Ski put out his diss track and uh six foot seven foot came out, I probably was like the one person in in uh in the Juggalo Super Chat that I'm a part of that like Gmo Gmo Ski diss song better. And you know I said my piece about it and I kept it moving and other people said their piece about it. We kept it moving. I'm not beefing with them. They're my homies. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for me to be beefing because we have different opinions, but. People out here, if you don't support their opinion or dick ride their opinion, then you're a piece of shit. <laughs> and that's just the era we're in now. We are in the era of drama. We are in the era of post-family. Um, people can't comprehend how um, Twisted can go off and do their own thing and sign this person and how Jay and Shaggy can do this and do that and blah, 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 and so on and so forth, and it's just drama, and even stuff that shouldn't be drama turns into drama now, <laughs> so anyway, that's just my quick thoughts, man, on uh, my favorite era, my favorite era easily is the Malenko to Lotus era, because it wasn't, it didn't seem like every, so many people was brainwashed. Like, I feel like with the family era, that truly ushered in a lot of brainwashed juggalos that they wanted to be a part of something so bad that they just latched on to every fucking thing that was said and just, it just warped their mind some. I feel like, I feel like even, even with the OG era up until, up until, uh, Lotus, it was a lot more open-mindedness. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot more, um, we was down for it, but it wasn't no attacking people because, and, and, and in my in my area anyway, if people had a different opinion about some shit, we wasn't attacking them and, and saying all this crazy off the wall shit. It, it wasn't that serious, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like now in this drama era, that's all you're going to get. So, uh, I know I'm late. <laughs> Real quick, let me get y'all, let me get y'all heads up. So, uh, at work, uh, one of my homies just up and quit, which I can't be mad at him. He got a way better job somewhere else, and I re I respect that. Can't can't get mad about it. But it kind of put everybody else on our team in a um in a bind because well now we have to get this man stuff covered. So I've been pulling some overtime doing that. Then I got stuck on third shift the whole entire week. And, uh, my cat fucking, we don't know if he got attacked or what, but my cat fucking, hey, I have a cat. <laughs> he was, he came in the house one day, ran straight upstairs and we didn't see him for like two hours. He, and you know, he, he, he's a cat. Cats go off and do their own thing. Well, when we finally saw him, nose was bleeding and, and his, and his, uh, right back paw was fucked. Like not fucked, but it had a big ass, like, we don't know if it was a scratch or hole or whatever. And so he was living around the house for, for about a little bit over a week now. And, uh, we, like, we was on the fence about taking him to the vet because 
he on like the first few days he was putting pressure on it, and then after that he just stopped walking on it completely, which is like a fucking tricycle just hobbling around the house. Well, luckily, like yesterday and today, he's back to well, like he's putting a whole he just he back to running basically on all fours. Like you know he you see still see him like take some pressure off of it sometime, but it's good to see that it, it seemed like it's healing okay. So that's my homie. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a I'm a I'm a cat I'm a cat dad. You know what I'm saying? I love my little homie. And uh, I had to t watch him for a couple days just to make sure um, his cut didn't get affected and stuff like that. You know, he's a little bitch about it and was attacking me. But, hey, he's a cat. He don't know no better. All he know is my, my leg hurt. Don't fucking touch me. You touching me. I'm scratching you the fuck up. So, that's what's been going on with your boy. Um... I'm I'm still here, still with Juggalo a day. I know I know I'm late. I'm a, I'm a going to go ahead and record my next video now and just drop it tomorrow in the morning. So y'all getting this tonight. So once again, as I always say, if you like my video, thumbs it up. If you hate my video, thumbs it down. And until next time, man, I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and then Crazy will definitely be back Monday with the new motherfucking topic. So. I see y'all in I see y'all tomorrow in the morning. <laughs> Much love and peace out, y'all. And real quick, I already know why do you say Lowe's let's family alike? I say Lowe's, I say let's, and I say family alike because that's what everything gravitated towards. Even though I never I, I don't sit here and look at people as like my immediate family and stuff. Um it's just a part of it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a part of it and um I feel like now that <laughs> I knew one day it was going to happen. And that part of it is, it seems like it's walking right out the fucking door now. So with that being said, man, I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. Much love to everybody. Peace out. And I'll be back in the morning with my next video. Peace.